All right, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Snowpack and comparing it to Rollup. So here I've got two projects, um, basically just some Pokemon stats stuff. And this is in Rollup, and this is in Snowpack. So this is basically a replacement for Rollup or Webpack. And what it does, what makes it unique, is that it's really speedy in development. So whenever you make a change here, it's pretty much immediately reflected in the browser. So for example, let's say I want to do something super simple. Um, and just change Pokemon to Pokemons with an S at the end for pluralization. And this is going to take a while because I'm pulling in like 10 megabytes of this data right here. So I roll up, I type S, and I save the file. I come back. Okay, it's not there yet. It's going to take a while. And I could maybe even come here and change it, save, come back. So it's still not there. You'll see in roll up. And here it's already reflected, already changed. And I can even change it back. Save Pokemon. And bam. So... If the if I wasn't pulling in like 10 megabytes of data, this could this might be even faster. Um, and you'll see here it still hasn't even picked up the changes. I don't know what's going on, so I gotta like refresh Pokemon to Pokemon's bam like that. Okay, so usually you know you probably won't be pulling in 10 megabytes of data. And let's say the app is even simpler. So let's say I put this all out and it just says hi. So if I before I save it, I'm gonna come here. And if I save it and I go back, see, I can't even get back. It's already refreshed. Now with Rollup, let's see how quick that is. Comment that all out, and I say, hi, save. Can I get, make it back? Yeah, I can. And there. So it's going to be a lot speedier now. So Rollup, I save. It's going to be a lot faster, but, you know, it still takes a little bit. Rollup, if I'm, you know, just changing, if the application is this simple and I save, and I go back, and it's already changed. So it's a lot speedier. Um, you know, Snowpack is still growing. So if there's plugins that you really like in Rollup or Webpack, you might not be able to find them in Snowpack. But it's a lot speedier um, and much nicer development experience. So real quick, how do I get started with Snowpack? So they've got this thing kind of like uh, with if you're doing like Create React App or kind of like the Svelte template. Uh, you can copy and paste this here. Copy paste, and I want to call it Pokemon. So here's the name, new directory, Pokemon. And then the template is going to be this one right here, Svelte. So I copy, paste. Okay, and that's going to take a while to run, but um, that'll set up your project. And it'll look like this, what I have right here, Snowpack. So a nice thing, too, is they give you Jest. But this is just a template, so this has nothing to do with Snowpack. But um, if you use the template that they provide you here, this is what you'll get. So you'll see here, snowpack.config.json is very simple. This is all you need. And then if you have plugin scripts, you know you can look into that if you want. Personally, I don't want to deal with any of this, but it's there if you want. OK, and that's pretty much all for this video. Let me know if you've tried Snowpack. Please subscribe. Leave a like and